Hello, people. This is Loud Styles, and this is another loud and proud commentary. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of Guptill89's video, Rantorex Shorts Number Four: The Unimportance of Change. I haven't done a commentary in quite a while, so I hope you all enjoy. It. Sit back, relax, and let's get ready to hear some stupidity. Now that's what I call black magic. Evolution. Noun. It's the gradual development of something, especially from a simple to a more complex form, including productive advances in technology and innovation like cell phone devices, more cutting-edge vehicles, better cleaners, and so on. Why, thank you, Mr. Gubtill, for that valuable lesson you just taught us. I learn something new every day I look at your videos. You're a saint. Product logos also evolve. Every so often, there's a change to the logo, and it's to get people to buy the item, to pay more attention. Lately, however, a small number of trademarks have been modified so drastically that it's become a bit of an inconvenience. Now, uh, I understand well that is this it is one because of the people that know that G is short for on. gay? But I just find that some of these insignias don't work well. Take Nike, for instance. With the previous designs, you could easily recognize what the brand name was. Today, the current seal is just the swoosh. Oh no, it doesn't say Nike anymore, it just has the swoosh, whatever shall I do. The same can be mentioned for Gatorade. Currently, it's called G. You might be able to make out the tiny letters that spell Gatorade on the bottle, yet the fact that it's referred to as just G still stands. Furthermore, the commercial series titled What's G that premiered the name change didn't even display the beverage. And uh, is it because people know that G is short for Gatorade? Um, is it because people can see the lightning bolt logo and still know that it's Gatorade? Ooh, ooh, I got one better. Is it because people really don't care about the logo change as long as the taste still stays the same? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Why is it a problem again? First, I thought it was a new shoe company, and I continued to think that until I saw the refreshment at my local supermarket. Nonetheless, I believe the gold trophy goes to Chrysler. This automobile manufacturer has had a variety of symbols since the 1930s. It's interesting to see the amount of creativity over the years, but at the same time though, it's ridiculously confusing. Nowadays, you'll most likely come upon the 1990 Pentagon emblem or the 1998 Winged emblem. Once again, if you're new to the automotive world, or if you've gotten so used to the newest seal, chances are you'll be asking someone, uh, Hey, yes, sir. With the tell me, symbol, what does that pentagon that symbol again? mean? Is it Chrysler? Luckily, I know it says it on the side of the doors, but I want to be sure nonetheless. Exceptions. Take a gander at Pepsi. You can see a clear progression in the logo design, and the most modern version isn't completely unrelated to its predecessors. Aside from big, awkward alterations in trademarks, another thing that's irritating is the method of remodeling buildings that serve the public when they don't appear to need it. The only time an establishment really needs to be revamped is if it is decaying or if it's been vandalized. For example, the Dunkin' Donuts in my town used to have Hello, this Hello, he's Guptil89. He like complains about crap, so you don't have to. And I really mean you don't have to. The board on the side, similar to this one. The inner part was white, and it gave the indication of being inviting, all right. Now, the sign out front has been switched with a shinier one that has the current insignia, the roof is a beige solid roof, and the inside Look is at my flashy orange. effect edit cut, so you really don't realize really that what I'm talking about has no significance the to you. Post and the interior? Why move the counter all the way over so it's next to the wall? That's just a waste of moolah. What's the point, anyway? To get with the times? Or, once again, maybe it's to catch a person's eye. Guptill! Hey, Guptill, I don't know if you realize this, but you just answered your own question. In a nutshell, modifying emblems and redesigning buildings can be an important factor to society and commerce. Just please don't radically transform logos to the point of confusion, and please consider alternatives to rebuilding or repainting a structure unless it's absolutely necessary.
So remember, kids, if a logo change bothers you that much, why don't you go talk to Gubtail89? I'm sure you two will have a very intellectual conversation. Yeah, about as intellectual as a dead frog in a driveway on a summer morning. This is the one thing that I always see in a Guptill 89 video. He talks in such an intellectual tone, like he really knows what he's saying, but when you really pay attention to it, you find out that his intellectual talk is like two-ply toilet paper. All he's doing is just gathering up a bunch of shit. I mean, honestly, do you really think someone's going to go to an automotive shop and just start talking about how the logo changed or anything? No, they're looking for a freaking car. Do you really think when somebody is getting a car, they're going to say, hey, I want to buy that car, but I'm, uh, what happened to the wing emblem? I thought the Pentagon was supposed to be there still. No, they're going to ask whether this thing is a gas guzzler and if it still runs or not. And another thing, why in all we know does he have to use flashy little edit cuts? God, he uses those more times than we use the opinion card. It's like he uses it just so we can be distracted by the fact that what he's talking about has no significant meaning whatsoever and not a lot of people really give a shit. He just talks about useless crap and then every video he does, it has some meaningless edit cut that just has nothing to do with the video or shouldn't even been in the first place. He's just using it because it looks cool, when in actuality it has nothing to do with what the freak you're talking about. Well, I'm done. I'm Loud Sals and I say good day. I said good day!